so I am in the car. I have to get some gas. It's my normal Monday things. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe, review it, leave some comments. I love talking to you guys. Um, I am getting ready to do my normal Monday stuff. If you're new here, welcome. But I am getting some gas and then I'm going to go, um, I need to stop at Sam's to pick up some paper towels uh, for the shop and then uh, go drop the towels at the shop and the supplies and then possibly get a workout in, eat some lunch. Um, and then I need to work on some editing stuff, of course. So that's what um, I normally do on Mondays. It's just prep for the week. It's slow. I usually go for a walk as my workout and uh, maybe like three miles or so. But anyway, just yapping, but that's what I'm on my way to do. Again, back in the garage, gonna do some um, reset things for the plant because I did, um, my herbs and they didn't come up so this one either has basil or dill in it and i don't know if i put the seeds close enough up for them to come through so i'm gonna investigate that take this out put in a bigger pot too then i ended up going to the store for um and then i'm gonna put these in here Again, plant project. Of course, uh, I'm in the kitchen. It's my night for dinner tonight, and I am making garlic butter, steak bites. Ooh. I'm going to add. Um, I'm going to add mushrooms to the pan because I have some gorgy mushrooms that I want to chop up. I've been eating these. I'm gonna save a couple of these for like a piece of this week. Maybe, maybe not. I'll probably chop them up. I like how mushrooms are meaty and I have, these are Baby Bella mushrooms. I'm gonna chop the steak up into bites. I'm going to season it and then I'm gonna throw it in the pan with uh, first with the olive oil sear, get it like nice and hot, a good oil cook on it and then I'm going to um, throw in the gar the garlic and the mushrooms, add a little bit more oil, and then I'm going to have it over some white rice that I just had in the rice cooker. And I put in a bouillon cube for that to kind of give the rice like a, um, just kind of like a chicken's, like a little bit of a chicken flavor. So it just won't be plain white rice. Um, Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Sorry, right, I like a holy whole moment. Anyway, that's what I'm doing for dinner. That's good. I have no idea the best way to put this. They usually say it gives for grain, so I'm guessing probably that way. Or long ways. I think I'm gonna go long ways. Yeah. It's gonna be good. 
garlic butter steak bites. This is going to make a lot of them, too. Hmm. Because I have to season them, I'm going to put them in my bigger bowl. Per use. Anyway, that's going to be a good dinner, I think. I didn't eat more beef lately. I'm kind of liking it. I prefer better cuts of beef, so I'm not just eating any kind of old beef. Child, don't think that. Cause that ain't the case. So, I got the meat seasoning. Salt, pepper, garlic salt. And powder garlic powder on the all purpose meat seasoning. Now I'm just gonna cut the mushroom. Y'all know I gotta wash my hands a thousand times while I'm doing the meat because it's gross. Um, clean my cutlery. Let's clean my board off. And now I'm just gonna chop up. I'm watching that Whitney Houston movie on Netflix. I saw the Lifetime one. <laughs> Cracked somebody up before because I was like, they was like, I watched the Whitney Houston movie this weekend because you know I like to ask people what they're watching. And I was like, oh, the one on Lifetime? She was like, I don't think so. Baby, the Lifetime one was hilarious. You haven't. <laughs> Find it, but I'm going to watch the cinematic one. Love getting mushrooms from the Sam's. Look how big they are. My fave. For the pizza this weekend. We have a pizza, like a little oven pizza that I eat on like Saturdays and stuff. So good. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and start cooking chop. I gotta switch around so I can actually watch TV. I'm always like looking at it from the side. So my kids. Them Houston boys let you do that. Mm. The Houston boys are going to let they go on. Um. Mm. 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 Bobby. Mm -hmm. Bobby. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
allergies have been bothering me do you hear me like crazy I don't know what just happened um, anyway today I was setting up an appointment for the gynecologist just to do your normal well woman checks up checkup and then I was also setting a dental appointment for a cleaning um, happy to say I found women black women and I'm really happy about that because I wanted black women doctors to do my health services um I'm also watching my niece and just getting some little work done since I agreed to watch her I don't schedule too much stuff but she's over there see her little head watching the iPad so I get to get stuff done can't like look into the camera exactly anyway i'm at the gym um and i got a mushroom chocolate and i think i'm going to micro today so i'm gonna take like a little piece of it and wait it said don't operate any motor vehicles while using this project. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna we're gonna try it. We don't see baby. Getting an idea about where the camera is on the phone. Anyway, I am at the gym, chilling outside. It's kind of an overcast day, but it's perfect to just sit out. I bought my iPad because I'm reading. Didn't really feel like working out today, but I got in the hot tub for sure. Um, now I'm just chilling up here. Child. Let me not get my buns in there, but I'm at the pool. Baby. right guys tonight there is tonight is a full moon a full moon in scorpio and it's a lunar eclipse i don't know what part of the world you have to be in to see it but the moon is about to be eclipsed tonight i don't know what time anyway um you know we do full moon things um i'm a scorpio moon fun fact so um I live in these kind of, I live in this moon. I live in this energy. Um, I was born on a Monday, which is a moon day. Like the night is, is I'm comfortable with the transitions and the darks, the things that um, Scorpios are known for. I live in there. I live in constant transformation. But what I want to do, I had a beautiful resting, relaxing day for the full moon. Um, I'm going to do a little journaling because I'm feeling like in a journal mood. Um, and then I'm going to watch. Um, it's also Cinco de Mayo. So I do have a marg over here um, and some water in the Starbucks cup. You got to have some water beside the spirits because we got to keep the skin looking good. Okay, because it's looking it's giving gracious and, and good these days. So we're going to keep the skin looking good. But. Um, it's just going to be a relaxing night in. My honey should be home from work soon. Um, I got us some dinner from the lunch place earlier because I went for, my phone died, so I didn't get to, I think I have a little video of it. It was delicious Creole Cajun food, like tastes like New Orleans, like good. So I went ahead and got us a couple plates to go because for $10, you couldn't beat the price and like the portion. So I was like, let me get two of them plates to go. So I did put drunken chicken, I think, in the other one. <laughs> I hope so. Anyway, I'm blabbing. Let me get to journaling because I'm watching Married at First Sight too. So 
that's my night. It's Friday. How old am I? I'm almost 40, and this is definitely an almost 40 um, energy because I like to stay in the house, baby. Hey, in suburbia, <laughs> I'm making some quick runs. I'm, I need to go to Walgreens, um, and then I just also like to walk around Walgreens. And then I might stop in a couple stores or something um, just to pass some time. And then I got some things that I want to do around um, the home front because we might get some rain today. So that's what I'm doing today. No, I don't need a donut. Oh. My quick trip to the store, of course, it wasn't at Walgreens. And then I was like, well, I'll check another Walgreens. It was not there. So um i had to go to target because that's where they keep all the honeypot products apparently so that's where i went and then i was like oh i'll double and i'll go to the dollar store and get my little cotton pads and like wipes and things that i just get from the dollar store uh, from the dollar tree and of course there weren't any because that happens to me i'm just like oh i'll just do this little quick thing kill two birds with one stone you know it was nothing in there so i'm like all right so it's not re up day so i'll just grab those things another day i'm ready to go home i've had enough of driving um we're supposed to possibly uh, get some rain today but it ain't here yet and i didn't water the garden this morning so i'm gonna do it anyway and then hopefully it rains tonight and i won't have to worry about them so. Suburban life at its finest. <sighs> All right. So that's over with. I put a little oven pizza in the oven. I guess I could have showed y'all I'm still making it, but. <sighs> My girls, I added mushrooms to the top. And this is a brand that I got at Sam's called Jack's. And it's like a little thin, crispy pizza. I like it. It's super good. It's actually good. You know, I'm black, so I add extra stuff to it. Mushrooms. And I put like a little Italian seasoning on it. Oregano and stuff. It's really good. I'm also starting a new puzzle today. My friend Felicia gave it to me. It's a 500-piece puzzle. Um, and it's hand-drawn Namas. And it's uh, by Be Rooted. And the artwork is by Rachel Joannes. Look how cute that is. So, <sighs> Suburban Saturday. <laughs> well, Y'all know that during quarantine, I wound up with a puzzle mat, which is just felt rolled out. You can roll your puzzle up in it and put it away so you don't have to like have a dedicated table that the puzzle stays on the whole time even though it wouldn't matter because no one's in the living room with me most of the time um so that's it that's my saturday i'm gonna do that should i check my email i don't know It was a scorching day in the middle of August. The year was 1997. 
Chagrin's big brother, Richard that? Powers, begun to work early at Edwards Air Force Base up in the high desert northeast of L.A., where their family's electric company helped maintain the power. So we can have a pizza. Ricky hoped to knock off early, too. Finally spent some much-needed time alone with his living girlfriend, Amy Priestmeyer. But plans. Thanks, Felicia. Groceries delivered today, um, so I can make this dinner. And I'm just using my ground beef for the spaghetti because I like. It. Huh? My what? Yeah, yeah, 